Today I want to review this product from NOCO. It's a 12 volt settings keeper. It's the GC035. This does come equipped with a fuse. Ten amp. So what this is supposed to do is you plug this into your OBD2 connector on your car, your vehicle, and you'd have a power supply, 12 volt power supply. Then when you uh, disconnect your battery, it'll save everything and um, also <clears throat> any readiness test that you would have if you have to do smog testing on your vehicles you won't lose any of that data and we're going to test that today and see if that does in fact work okay so i'm going to plug in my scan tool And you see that the smog status that the vehicle would pass a, a test if I had to have it tested. So now what I'm going to do is shut the car off, pull the key, and um, plug in my uh, saver from NOCO. And then we'll disconnect the battery. Then we'll leave it off for about 30 seconds. Then we'll reconnect the battery and see if it saved everything. Now it does have this warning clearly tagged on the uh, NOCO saver. And it's also on the box. This is what that plug looks like on the OBD2 connector of the NOCO unit. As you can see there's only three pins. number four and five pin and it looks like number 16 now when you plug that into the uh, diagnostic link there your OBD2 connector you'll get a red light on your adapter here the 12 volt okay I've got it plugged in the power is on Let's go disconnect the uh, the battery. Okay, I've pulled the negative cable. We'll leave it off for a little bit here. One thing I forgot to do was check my radio. I called no NOCO and they did say it would save your radio settings too, but uh, I'll check that uh, after the fact. This, by the way, is uh, my 2014 Honda CRV. It's got a little bit over 92,000 miles. Okay. I 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is unplug it from the OBD2 connector. Now let me shut the power off first. Let me unplug it from the OBD2 connector. Lights off. Let me grab my scan tool. Okay, let me plug my scan tool in. And let me start the car. And let's see what we come up with. Okay. So smog test is good. Now that's with it plugged in. So as you can see, that did save when I disconnected the battery. Okay, so now let's... Let me see, let me turn the radio up. Let me go to... Oh, Holy crap! Um, and then, uh, I guess the rhinoceros isn't that preposterous. The point is, that when you get into this book, it doesn't end well. It's not the end, it's like... Oh. Okay, so it also saved that one radio station that I have. Now what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery, okay, without the... A local saver setting, sa a setting saver unit, and we're going to see if we still get this smog status test as green. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the battery without the local setting saver. I'm going to reconnect it. So this has been a shorter period of time than the last one. So I haven't had it disconnected as long as when I had it with the, the saver on it. Now let's... So let me... Start the car, and plug in the unit, the scan tool. And you see there is a yellow, so there is an issue. Emission related engine diagnostic trouble codes. So by God, that did work. That little unit works beautiful. This proves it. It's no big deal to me. All I've got to do is let the car, you know, drive it. Next few days, it'll it'll be it'll be good to go. But I just wanted to see if that does save it. Now let me go ahead and turn the radio. See if it saved. Because Bosley is the real deal. They're giving women and men their hair back permanently. Now it looks like the radio stayed on, but. Uh, as you can see, and I'm not sure if that's if it's the same station, but in any event, you can see that it definitely does keep your status to where if you had to have it keeps all the information in your in your computer. And that is the main thing.